National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for Oldham and Palmer counties. Residents in these areas are urged to take proper precautions. We now return you to our regular program. to be Dr. Branson must have sent you. I'm Dr. Branson. Oh, not so much for introductions. She's in the car, Dr. B. Howdy. Uh, Jacob Thorne, meet uh, Samantha Callan. Jake, pleasure to meet you, ma'am. Sam, are we meeting someone else here? Well, the uh, star of our show, Patty, just got in from St. Louis. She's the last to arrive. Well, I hope your flight wasn't as bad as mine. Actually, I drove. I uh, love driving. <laughs> He's afraid of flying. I just have a healthy respect for atmospheric uncertainties. So, how's the weather in Washington? Sticky. Now, I've been trying to familiarize myself with your work. Well, I'm sure Patty won't let us down. Uh, the Science Foundation has every confidence in your work, Dr. Branson. Thank you. You've been very supportive. But you can understand why, after six years, they had to demand a field trial. Now, frankly, at NAO, we think it's time to make a final determination. I'm sorry, did you say termination? Contrary to what you might have heard, not all auditors are heartless. Things are normally done in a two-day turnaround. I've asked for a week. Oh, a whole week? Well, we might as well find Bigfoot and the guy from the grassy knoll while we're at. How much do you know about uh, tornadoes, Miss Gallant? Doctor, where I come from, the biggest weather problem I have is that humidity makes my hair frizzy. Now, I was assigned to a project two days ago, and I'm doing the best I can to catch up. Well, this is just the place for a crash course. Welcome to tornado season. This is, um, downtown Byron. What do they call it, Jake? The jewel of the panhandle. I'm dazzled. Where's them all? Amarillo. You think I'm Good legs. Excuse me? It's just uh, Patty, I mean. You see, I knew right from the start that she had to have strong legs to withstand F5 winds. That's when I came up with the titanium aerodynamic superstructure and the explosive bolts. It took me a solid year of research just to get the bolts to fire in the proper sequence to maximize torque stress reduction. How much longer before we get there? About 20 minutes. I took the scenic route. So what made you decide to become a meteorologist? Oh, I'm not. No, Jacob is a, um, 
former top graduate student of mine at the University of Missouri. Until I washed out in that third year. Nonsense. As far as I'm concerned, you merely late for class. So what do you do in the meantime? I'm a chaser. One of those guys racing around in pickups chasing after storms? Waste of a fine mind, if you ask me. Well, we're all chasing one thing or another, aren't we? This is Oliver Nessel, one of my graduate students. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Now there's a meteorologist. Well, now that's one passenger unloaded. Now you can swing me by my hotel? Uh, a hotel? Well, I really don't want to put you out. Well, I got plenty of room, but suit yourself. The nearest hotel's about, uh, oh, 30 miles away. Of course, it's really just a truck stop, but I'm sure I can get them to put some clean sheets on a hide a bit. This is perfect. I'll need a telephone. Oh, we got uh, telephones, indoor plumbing, all the modern conveniences. Let me get your bags for you, ma'am. Oh, no, don't call me ma'am. I can manage just fine, thank you. It's up on the second story, first door to your right. Uh, in case you forgot, uh, we want her on our side. As you can see, she's not thrilled about the idea of waiting around for a tornado. Well, I don't have to tell you, of all people, they don't run on timetables. No, but the NAO does. Well, Ephraim says two days, maybe less. Good. The sooner the better. Metropolitan area. For today and tonight, upper level disturbance will move across the school, enhancing the rain and causing widely scattered showers and thunderstorms today and right. The Austin Metropolitan forecast today, cloudy with a 40% chance of showers, high in the lower 70s, north wind 10 to 15 miles an hour. Tonight, cloudy. 60% chance of showers and thunderstorms, and possibly severe with large hail and damaging winds. Low in the lower 50s, and north wind at 10 to 15 miles an hour. On Friday, areas of rain and thunderstorms range at 100%. High in the mid 50s, and north east wind at 15 to 25 miles an hour and gusty. In an extended forecast Saturday, decreasing clouds with a chance of showers. High in the 50s, near 60 on Sunday. Partly cloudy, a slight chance of rain, low in the 40s and highs in the 60s. Monday, I smell smoke. Where there's smoke, there's fire. <laughs> Home brew. That's four line hot sauce. In there about twelve eighty seven to deliver it too. Hey, Tex Fulton, want you to meet Sam Callen? Of course, uh, you know Dr. Branson over here. Did he say Tex? Yes, ma'am. And this here's Maddie Peck. Pleased to meet you. Welcome to Byron. Y'all gonna motor mouth all day, or are you gonna eat barbecue? It's over here. Go on, fill your face there. You need some help, Jay? Yes, yeah, sure, grab a knife there. You know, I don't believe I've ever met anyone named Tex before. Well, the truth is, I'm originally from North Carolina. Well, maybe they ought to call you Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Tex would do just fine, ma'am. Hello. How you doing, Jakey? Hey, Zena, how are you, girl? Why aren't you <laughs> down here turning into a rack of ribs with us? Somebody's got to mind the store. How are things looking up there in Cliffside? Oh, it couldn't be more beautiful. Talked to Todd this afternoon. He said there's some minor cumulonimbus activity out uh, south of Wayside. Sure hadn't reached me yet. Nah, we're looking at a no-show day all the way around. 
Well, Rudy doesn't think so. <laughs> Take of your caution. Now you, you save me some ribs now, you hear? You know I will. Thanks, Ina. Bye. Those beans wouldn't happen to be made with canola oil, would they? Fat back. Uh, Ephraim Thorne, I'd like you to meet uh, Sam Callan. Pleased to meet you. Uh, miss, is it? Why not? Around here, a miss is as good as a mile. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, get in here, Slim. Uh, pile them on in here, man. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Helps counteract Grandpa's cooking. Thanks. Well, Dr. B, I'm sorry, but today it seems like we're busted. Hey, what's this gizmo in my shed? Well, it's time to meet the guests of honor. <laughs> this is Patty. Well, looks aren't everything. I'm sure she's got a terrific personality. <laughs> To be honest, the most difficult part was coming up with a name for her. After six years of work, I wanted something truly special. PATTI, P-A-T-T-I, stands for Portable Analyzer of Technical Tornado Information. It's also my wife's name. Took me weeks to realize that, of course. <laughs> Oliver, why don't we show them her brain? Uh, may I? By all means. All the monitoring devices are housed here in the control shell. You have your digital barometer, your celiometer, your electropotentiometer. Uh, but check out the legs. They're made of titanium alloy, which allows for torsion from the winds but won't break. The bolt inside can be driven up to two feet into the ground, thereby allowing us to actually take readings from within the vortex. All we have to do is um, place her directly into the path of a tornado. Is that difficult? No, it's uh, damn near impossible. Um... It's um, up to us scientists to uh, do the impossible. All this tornado talk makes me thirsty. Sure it wasn't your sauce? <laughs> it was up for Jimmy Jacks. What's a Jimmy Jack? Have anything like this in Missouri, do we, Dr. Branson? Ooh, how about a little soft there, darling? Uh, you don't have anything like that either, do you, Ollie? Behave yourself. There are ladies present. So, Jake, what was your dissertation on? Mm. Global warming. <laughs> Let's dance. Maybe it'll help keep your out of your mouth. You know, Jake, as far as Washington is concerned, Global warming is just a nasty rumor cooked up by grant-hungry scientists. <laughs> well, that's fine, but uh, take Antarctica, for example. This past January, the temperature actually rose above freezing. There are flowers growing on the ice shelf. Now, that's not a rumor. That's a fact. Yes. Bloods, droughts, earthquakes, hurricanes, tornadoes, all getting more severe, more unpredictable, which is precisely why I'm in a panic. Early predictions means early warnings. Early warnings means lives saved. So why are tornadoes always picking on Texas? Well, could be the hats. <laughs> now, this is good old U.S. of A. Now, <clears throat> cold dry air travels southeast from Canada. Now, what happens is it comes down across the Rockies here, where it picks up more cold air, and then it continues on unobstructed to the plains. Now, this represents warm, moist air that travels north from the Gulf of Mexico, right around Brownsville here. Once again, a straight, unobstructed path to the plains, right? Yes, and when these two elements meet, what happens is the cold, dry air from Canada rests directly on top of that warm, moist air from the Gulf. Yes. Which leaves one final element. Jet stream. Bingo! Bingo. Heavy weather. Some genuine kick butt tornadoes. And that is where our empirical knowledge of tornado formation ends. So all in all. All in all, basically, we know Jack. Jimmy Jack. Hello, Jake. What brings you to the boondocks, Richie? Family business. Forget how boring it is. Well, it looks like you guys are having all the fun over here. Sam Callen, Dr. Branson, Oliver Nessel. 
Meet the one and only Richie Cochran. Richard Cochran, KLCA TV, Amarillo. Pleased to meet you. Hey, you on TV, huh? Oh, yeah, Richie's the big city in weather. Broadcast journalist. Weather's just temporary. Well, you're not from around here, clearly. The coast. East. Well, Jake, whatever are you doing with folks from the big city? Well, we're from Missouri, conducting a um, tornado analysis field test. Dr. Branson's meteorologist. He was my advisor at grad school. Did you ever get around to finishing up that degree? I've known this guy since before he was a cowboy. Finishing is not his forte. But you, Sam, you're much too pretty to be a meteorologist. I'm an auditor for the government. Well. If you're serious about finding a tornado, you should come down to the station sometime. At KLCA, we have the most up-to-date monitoring system with complete access to the National Weather Service. Come to think of it, I, I'm taking a camera crew to the NWS tomorrow morning. What time should I pick you up? Uh, Richie, her dance card's getting pretty full. See, she's here on will be fine. What about your dance card tonight? Richie, it's full, okay? I can speak for myself. Sure. Love to. Jake and I ran track together in high school. He was a fast starter. I was a finisher. For the weather. I can thank my grandpa for that. Some things you can't learn in school. Like dancing? So how did a tight-ass bean counter from Washington learn the Texas two-step? How did a redneck good old boy earn two-thirds of a PhD? Hey, are we flirting? <laughs> we are. We're rusty as hell. I think a little oil won't fix. much tequila in Washington, do you? Mostly Chardonnay, why? Ask me in the morning. There's nothing like good, clean country air. Well, I guarantee you, you'll never want to leave. Especially after you've had some of my world-famous bacon and eggs. Now, these contain a very special ingredient passed down from generation to generation. Ah. Hey, hey, no peeking. Well, good morning. Fair for heaven. How about some eggs? I've just seen hell. Just coffee. Hmm. Are you sure? Jake's very excited about this dish. It has a secret ingredient. 
Cayenne. You're not one of those finicky Easterners, are you? No, I'm one of those brutally hungover Easterners. Uh, I didn't do anything I shouldn't have last night, did I? No, not a thing. You can try again tonight. How many radios do you have around here? Kirk. I don't know, a dozen easy. They're spread all over the house. They're all on 24 hours a day, and they're all tuned to the weather station. The boy must have his hobby. I've got it. Cilantro. Doc, please, you're blowing my cover. Sounds like a pretty finicky Eastern secret ingredient to me. Well, cooking is my real hobby. Jake, come look at this. These satellite pictures outside of Denver look very promising. Uh-huh. Oliver, why don't you flag the hook? You got the coordinates? You betcha. I believe your student's going Texan on you, Doctor. Yeah, it happens to the best of us. You know, if the um, return moisture flow in the vertical ship picks up a few more knots, we could have the supercell dynamics we need. Yeah, see, that sucker could bust the cap. Yeah. Ooh. When do you do the super tornado fanatic handshake? Damn! We are about rear-ended that poor excuse for a weatherman. <laughs> uh, I need to freshen up. Uh, Richie, I don't think Sam is feeling up to this little field trip. Maybe she'd like to tell me that herself. I mean, she hasn't fully recovered after last night, if uh, you get my meaning. I'm ready. Yeah, so am I. Uh, maybe we could drop you someplace, Jake. I don't know how interesting this is going to be for you. Nah, I'm always eager to learn from real weather professionals. That's, uh, that's an official police scanner. In my racket, it's round the clock. Ready alert. Well, if it's not asking too much, can we be quietly on alert? That's the difference between Chardonnay and tequila. When we're fully online, we'll be connected with every weather service regional office in the country, as well as NCAR and NOAA and SPC. Digital ob, satellite scanning, the whole bit. Are we boring you, Jake? Huh? No, no, I was an armchair weatherman myself once. You were about to say? Well, pretty soon we won't have to rely on the office in Oklahoma to guide our predictions. We'll have Texas predictions for Texas weather on the spot. Well, what about chasers? Oh, they'll be chasing their own tails. Totally obsolete. Well, that's not really the case. Take the twister in Adrian. Doppler detected the storm coming had the hour on the nose. They called it for 3.30 p.m. exactly. It's incredible. Well, the only problem is they had it three counties away in Parmer, so <laughs> I mean, the warning box was off by 75 miles. As I was about to say, we'll always rely on spotters and chasers. That's the human factor. But from here, we're going to be able to pinpoint the storm formations much more exactly. And get data up to you in Amarillo so you can give better, earlier warnings to your viewers. That's the theory, anyway. Uh, uh, I don't have to be back at the studio for another hour. How about some lunch? I'll take a rain check. Well, if you'd like to find out more about the ins and outs of the weather game. Richie, why don't you go judge a tractor puller or whatever it is you weather guys do when you're off camera? Why don't you get a life? I got one, thanks. You know, it's been like that since we were kids. Well, I'm sure eventually one of you will outgrow it. Besides being a night fool, she's got a good head on her shoulders. 
Which is more than I can say for present company. Now don't get any ideas about being a matchmaker. Why not? Can't look after you forever. I've been uh, editing this footage. It's from my own private collection. The Fujita wind damage scale rates the storm's power from an F1 to an F5. This is uh, an F1. An F2. F3. Jacob uh, shot this action. F4. And finally. Wind speeds over 300 miles per hour. Cuts a path sometimes over a mile wide. That's what we call an F5. Otherwise known as a killer tornado. Do you name them? What? They're like hurricanes, do you give them names? You don't put a name to what ain't human. There's nothing human about a tornado, it's just God's blind fury. And you don't outguess it with predictions. Yes, but um, Doppler radar pinpoints the elements of a storm before the tornado. You can't fell. guess where they're sitting at some dumb computer screen. Doppler is only one of our tools. We have computer simulations that are on the verge of accurately predicting the path of a mesocyclone. Hey, with all of your fancy machines, I mean all of them, you know you still can't tell me when a tornado is going to come and where it's going to go. Yes, but... I... Yes, but nothing. You see that barometer out on my porch? Now, that's all I need that in my senses because sooner or later you got to get outside and smell the weather look let's not forget it doesn't take a killer tornado to kill people 15,000 people died in North America this century alone and they all had the benefit of a barometer now if Patty can save one life then our efforts would have been worthwhile all the computers in creation can't change nature now a tornado's got a devil's heart and a dead soul and until you've seen that you ain't telling me nothing about nothing. Kind of proprietary on the subject, isn't he? Well, he's got his reasons. Thought maybe it ran in the family. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Last night at Jimmy Jack's, you kind of treated me like your property. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, well, I think a change of scenery would do us good. Uh, Maddie has invited all of us over to her folks' house for dinner tonight. I could use some home cooking. Sorry, Oliver. I'm going to have to keep our eye on the prize. Plenty of leftovers. Meantime, you just keep playing Pac-Man, because that's what you're good at. Sam? Joni, that was terrific. Oh, I can't remember when I've eaten so much. Well, honey, you're nothing but skin and bones. Don't they feed you in New York? Washington. Uh-huh. Same difference. How's the hut going? Well, nothing so far today, but uh, we got some promising developments from SPC. You want to go see my tree? It's the best climbing tree in Byron. I bet it is. Sam doesn't want to see your stupid tree. She just says she did. Maybe later, monkey. So, they got the speech this afternoon. You did? Did his eyes bug out? Tornado got a heart and a soul and a gallbladder and a stomach. Tornado goes to the supermarket, buys some groceries, brings it home, cooks up pancakes for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Tornado eats them pancakes with raspberry syrup. <laughs> Let's take a look at that tree, huh, monkey? Sure. Good for a girl. Well, so do you. Just don't tell Jake. He'll spoil his image of me. How do you like the view? It's beautiful. 
Just don't look down. <laughs> I can see why you like coming out here. Go on ahead, I'm right behind you. You walk as good as you climb? Try me. That was a nice thing you did. Climbing a tree with a 10-year-old? No, keeping texts from going on about a certain 70-year-old. I don't like people talking about it. There's enough talk as it is. It's so peaceful. Yep. In Washington, there'd be a thousand car alarms going off, sirens, the subway. I'm surprised you'd even notice being from there. Nobody's from Washington. I'm from Indiana. Ah. So you're not a real yuppie? Why not? As far as I can tell, you're not a real cowboy. Well, that's because I'm a farmer. You know that field behind Ephraim's? I got some soy grown in there, and one day I'm even thinking of putting in some aloe. Jake Thorne, soy and aloe farmer. I don't buy it. Oh, is that an official opinion? I'm not saying you're not good at it. I'm just saying your heart's not in it. You know what I'm good at? Sizing things up. Anyway, that's what they say at the office. Size me up. You earn a PhD washout. You are a walkout. Fair enough. But why would I do that? I haven't figured that part out yet. Possibly you had a falling out with Branson. More likely you thought you were deaf from something. Not bad. Okay, you're so smart. Size yourself up. Just your run of the mill NBA. Nothing fancy. Not Harvard. Virginia. Let me guess. First in your class? Fifth. But good guess. You know what they call me at the office? Terminator. They bring me in whenever they want to kill a program. I'm the ultimate hatchet man. Not much of a life sometimes, killing other people's dreams. Jake, this is Oliver. Come in. Jake, Jake! Yeah, this is Jake. I hear you. Go ahead. This is Oliver. Come in. Easy, Ellie. I read you loud and clear. Just called. Her best guess is 35 wide by 101 tall. All right, let's saddle up. Doctor. 
False alarm. Wait. Well, the data point in here. Hey, we're looking at them two F3s at least. Yeah, procedures ain't gonna happen. We busted. I can't believe all the data. Give me a start there, Doc. Huh, sorry. Yeah, I just must be going deaf in my old age. Uh, I'm checking the voltage on the electric current for the charges in the legs. And you really think them bolts will hold her down, huh? Oh, I'm sure of it. Uh-huh. Well, 90% sure. Uh-huh. Would you believe cautiously optimistic? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it got to hold. You know, um, you can take a closer look if you like. Huh. Oh, she really is a peach, ain't she? Yes. Well, the bolts in the legs are the key to everything. And you really thought you had yourself one yesterday, didn't you? I'd have bet the rent. You'd have lost. Hmm. All the pieces were in place. You a checkers man, Doc? Well, I prefer a chest, but, um, I can hold my own. Uh-huh. We well, see Weathers is checkered. It's a zig here, zag there, jump all over creation. But one thing it ain't is smart. It's like flying with a mule. No sense trying to outsmart it. You just gotta dummy down until you get what you're after. Maybe you ought to stop trying to outsmart the weather, Doc. So just uh, dummy down and nature will take its course. That is a pure D natural fact, sir. Now, show me how this contraption really works. Okay, like I said, well, notice here, the Doppler link. Yeah? Well, I was going to take you up to see Zena's place, but, uh... Looks like you got a better offer. It's not that I don't enjoy standing in the drizzle with you, Jake. It's just not what I was sent here to do. The truth is, I've seen enough. I'm leaving. So that's it, huh? Just like that? You won't even give Branson a fighting chance? He's had six years of chances. I don't see that a few more days will make any difference. Sam, don't you even care that the work he's doing might actually help some people? If you care so much, why are you planning a career in soybeans? One thing has nothing to do with the other. I'll ask Oliver for a lift to the airport. No, I'll take you myself. I want to see with my own two eyes that you are good and gone. Watching the clouds. It's a great way to pass the time. You mean like that one looks like a buffalo and that one's Nixon? No, I'm actually trying to be serious here. There's a certain zen to it. I watch the cloud, I become the cloud. You know what I mean? No, Jake, I don't know what you mean. 12 months of the year, I look at numbers. 
I'm sure sometimes they let me go in the field and see actual people, but still, I'm just still supposed to see numbers. So, what do you do for fun? I'm a yuppie. I don't have fun. I have stress. No, you're a fake yuppie. Well, the stress is real enough. I, I don't sit around reading Congressional Quarterly. I, I have parties. I have brunch. I have friends. Boyfriends? Yes, there's no shortage of boys on Capitol Hill. Not too many of you cow country Marlboro men. Sam, I'm from Chicago. You want to talk about stress? Try being the only child of two lawyers. They still couldn't work out their own divorce. We're early. I could stand it by the eat. Andy, honey, do you see what I see? Strong flow off the golf. Do we have anything new from SBC? Not since 10. Well, take a look at this. You know, just to be safe, we better get them to issue a risk for severe from Milburn to Dalhart. Somehow, I still can't see you on the farm. Oh, I did my time away at college. Missouri's got a killer meteorology department. Then why'd you come back? My grandma died. And you figured Ephraim needed looking after? It's not that simple. I mean, it, it, it's not like he was gonna throw himself off a silo or anything. Since grandma died, he only sees the dark side of nature. So I figured he could use somebody around to help see life again. And you're staying because... Sam, I'm not a fool. I know in a certain sense we're all just, I don't know, roadkill here on Tornado Alley, but there's a certain... a certain wonder to it all, a certain mystery. I mean, how can the same tornado smash a freight train to splinters and also pick up a carton of eggs and set it down three counties away without breaking a single egg? You know, for two people who aren't supposed to like each other, we sure do talk a lot. Okay, Margie, thanks. Uh, you got the word to him at the farm? I owe you. We got one, Sam. Have a safe trip, huh? I'm not flying if I could be chasing a tornado. We'll keep on it. Ephraim's watching for plow ends from the south. Jake, there's no damn way it's gonna tack all the way up to 54. We got it now. We gotta stay on it. If it makes it up to 54, we ain't never gonna catch it. Damn it, Tex, I'm telling you, just stay straight to 385. It's gonna be a right turn and we'll circle it. We'll go up and around. We got plenty of time. Copy that, Jake.
gonna be a big one, eh, Grandpa? You better believe it. All right, Tex, let's hit it. We had it targeted way west. Yeah, I'm on it. We're maybe uh, five miles south of Milburn off 385 north. The core is maybe two miles due north of here, about 30 miles an hour. Okay, I'm getting that down. Now listen, Jake. We need to issue a warning stat. Now give me your best shot. Where is it going? It's going to be a right turner. East. Okay, east. Margie, but it's unstable. You've got to get confirmation from north of Milburn, ASAP, okay? Will do. Good hunting, Jake. All right, hang on, because here we go.
This is Jake Thorne requesting emergency medical assistance. We need medical evac and personnel here ASAP. West Bray Hospital should be put on alert for incoming casualties and for the helicopter to Dalhart General. Copy? Copy. Bandages, sheets, anything. Okay. And you were in your kitchen when the twister struck. We were gonna go out early because I, I don't remember why. Normally I work on Thursdays. When the tornado hit, can you tell us what happened? Where's my wife? Where is she? So is Richard Cochran, KLCA TV. Okay. okay, just hold to the next live feed. Richie, what the hell are you doing here with that camera? Don't preach at me, Jake. Not now. That man's wife could be dead. This is my job. I get an assignment. I do it. That's all. Oh, I see. Right or wrong, it doesn't matter, does it? This is news. This is what the public wants. Yeah, and you're only too happy to oblige. Well, you can rot in this Jerkwater town for all I care, but I'm going places. For your information, the network called for a satellite pickup. Well, maybe a few tornado chasers did your job a little bit better. I wouldn't be doing this at all. You haven't changed one little bit since high school. You got all that right, Haas. I'm still a finisher, and you are still a loser. <coughs> Better fix your hair for the cameras, Richie. It's a little messed up. You're not going to end the field, Charles, are you? I don't know. Well, I know you're on your way to the airport. Please, there's no time for bureaucratic double talk. I need more time. And I'm just the messenger. The message was written long before I ever set foot in Texas. So I was hoping against hope. All right, I should have guessed that. I, for a scientist, I can be extremely naive. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. I know. You see it on TV, but you don't see it at all. Once you see it firsthand, you never see it in any other way. How old were you the first time? I was playing in the parlor with my sis when I heard the roar. Of course, being a boy, I had to get me a closer look, so I'm out in the backyard. And then all of a sudden, I can't move a muscle, because there, right in front of my eyes, I see a funnel form. And then a second one, and then another one, like some three-headed monster. My mother's calling me, I'm calling her. And all you can hear is that roar. I watched my mother get pulled up into that funnel. That was the last I ever saw. I 
I was five years old when that monster came and ate my world. And now it's coming again. Just falling down on the job. Jake. If those people had any warning at all, even 10 minutes. They had a siren. I saw it. Can't blame yourself. I called it wrong, Sam. I called it east. How could you know it was going to turn? I mean, all anybody's been telling me since I got here is how unpredictable they are. You're not God. You did the best you could. I mean, the hell good is all this machinery and manpower if we just keep getting tricked every time? Why even bother? Do you really mean that? Because in about five minutes, I'm going to get a call from my office wondering why I'm not sitting at my desk filing a termination report. What should I tell them, Jake? Huh? Oh, this is a bad time. No, no, no. Come on. Actually, Jake, I was hoping maybe you and me could take a walk. Yeah, sure. I'll talk with Sam. Big day yesterday. I can't do it anymore, Jay. I can't chase. I didn't know. I, I didn't know what it'd be like. I mean, really, in real life? I saw those people, and suddenly it seemed like I've been chasing my own tail, going in circles. I asked Maddie to marry me. What? Hey, hey, Tex, that's great. Well, then it's just as well, you know? I mean, being a chaser, that's no work for a family man anyway. Yeah. All right. It just came <laughs> right out of the blue. Uh, he just showed up at my house and woke all of us up and asked me to set the date. <laughs> I mean, he wanted to do it tomorrow. Well, I told him I needed more time because I got to get a dress and all. So we decided can do it in two weeks. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Congratulations. I would really like it if you could be here for the wedding. Can you come? Oh, that's very kind, Maddie, but I might have to go back to Washington on short notice. Oh, I know. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted you to know that you were wanted. Hey, there she is. I guess her. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh. Bye-bye. Love blooms in the panhandle. Texas quitting. I guess it's much. What about you? You quitting too? Jake, there's something you need to know. The anti-environmental lobby wants to pull the plug on any project that even acknowledges global warming. So what are you saying? We were finished before we ever started? I'm saying this could cost me my job. I need to know now. Are you going to quit, too? I told Dr. Branson I was going to have him out. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. What about you, Sam? You going to answer that call? Imagining what the aloe is going to look like. 
Oh. Could be. You're no more a farmer than you are a chaser. That's Evelyn's life. He took me in, Sam. I owe him. Don't wait too long, Jake. You might end up being the person you never wanted to be. You mean like the Terminator? Yeah. Evening. Oh, I was just going to get a, a drink of water. Uh, excuse me. Uh, could you uh, use something just a tad stronger? You have no idea. Come on in, sit yourself down. Nightmare. Yeah. Yeah. You uh, you won't tell Jacob about this, will you? You know he's he's a little old lady about my drinking and. Uh, my doctor ain't much better. I promise. Yeah, I used to have them all the time. Real fire and brimstone beauties. Never seen a dead body before. Here's hoping you never see one again. Mm. Hey, you play checkers? Ah, of course you do. Let's finish the game that Jacob and me started. Come on. Relax you. Your move. Mm-hmm. Do you think Patty's going to work? Well, I've never known a machine that can beat a tornado nuts and bolts and computer chips, all that man-made stuff. I wish Doc well. I sincerely do. But I just don't think that machine is will do it. The only thing that'll be the tornado is flesh and blood. The office called today. They want me to kill the program. And? I didn't take the call. <laughs> well, I tell you, you have a great heart, sugar, but you are a lousy checker player. <laughs> Doc thinks one of the weather pieces is missing. But they're always all there, just hiding in plain view. It's a question of what you make up. Hmm. Another one? No, thank you. I think I'm ready to go back to sleep. No? Uh -huh. Not so fast, Slick. First, king me. Good night. Good night.
about them right now. So I sold all my IBM stock. There's no way we're going to get into online services. <laughs> our regular programming to inform you that the National Weather Service has issued a tornado watch for the following counties. Yeah, well, Andy, Potter, they upgrade Armstrong, to a warning, I don't even Randall, stop cutting. Residents in these areas are urged to take Hello? proper precautions. Yeah, Margie, what do we have? We now return you to our regular when? programming. All right, I'll be right there. George, stop cutting. Big trouble, Jakey. Rudy can smell it. Hey, Zena, easy, easy, easy. Okay, now, what does your barometer say? Uh-huh. All right, thanks. Keep us posted. I don't get it. We got these satellite images straight from the National Weather Service first thing this morning. Yet someone repositioned this flag in the exact same place last night. You see this line? This is uh, the second wave of a jet stream which has been building steadily. Almost like a phantom cascading, getting stronger. All of which means we could have a tornado. All of which means that last tornado was just the first taste of this whole massive weather system. What I want to know is which one of you fortune tellers flagged the stream? I did. And it's gonna be a killer. The likes of which we ain't seen in many a day. Ain't that right, Doc? On a scale of one to ten, if the last one was a five, this would be... Fifteen. Look, if we can't get a commitment from SPC, we box it ourselves. No, I'm sorry, he's not in. Take a look. Oh, my. Lord, have mercy. See, why we gotta go all the way to Amarillo? Text full. There's no damn way that I'm gonna get my wedding ring at the Byron Jewelry Barn. Well, what about that mall over there in Dalhart? Don't they got a five and dime over there? Oh. <laughs> I'm warning you, boy. Listen, Richie, I know you and I haven't exactly been compadres over the years, but you've got to come through on this one. Now, the SPC says the storm is south of Amarillo and heading east, but if you look at the north end of the storm, you'll see that it's starting to leave the line. Well, these storms aren't going to pass anywhere near Byron. They're going to blow south of Amarillo in my viewing area. When did you become such an expert? Richie, look, I need you to upgrade at least to a warning. Look, don't tell me my business. Now, SPC has only red boxed it from, well, from Amarillo to Midland. Now, until I get something more from Weather Service, I can't upgrade to Priority 1 on my own. I'm telling you, the storm is heading north. Well, that's not good enough. Now, I'm not going to put my career on the line because you've got some feeling. Wouldn't I look the fool if I cut in with a false warning? Jake, I've got text from the road. Put him on speed. Now, don't disappear on me now, Richie. Jake! Jake, you there? Come here, Jake. Can you read me? Yeah, text. I got you. What's going on? Yeah, Maddie and I are just north of Amarillo. On 87, there's a storm out here. It's a pretty big one. You got any reports on it? Tex, you're breaking out. Yeah, it came up all of a sudden. It looks like this could be worse than the last one. Tex. You hear?
hear that, Mr. Weatherman? Tex always lands on his feet. Yeah, well, if one person gets injured because of your incompetence, I'm gonna land on you like a ton of bricks. Meso cyclone is already developed. We have reports that a few twists have touched down. Most likely, we're looking at F5s. 300 miles an hour, easy. So, uh, when do we start chasing? Sam, we don't have to chase anything. The storm is headed straight for us. talk to you about something you're wondering about the network reaction to your satellite feed did they like it like it nuts i don't know how we're gonna hang on to you here i am gonna frame this listen while we're on the subject of tornadoes i think we might have a big one on the way down now i'd like to go on air with a warning did we get something from nws well, nothing official well, don't worry about it it'll blow over probably right. I'm just wound a little tight is all. Sorry to bother you. Of course, I want the Reverend Swanbeck, but Maddie thinks he's too boring, so she's talking to that Reverend Madden fellow over in Dalhart. I need an emergency cut in. Okay. Now. No, 
It's a bat, see? If it was a bat, it should be upside down. Wait, I'll stand on my head. <laughs> I don't know. Well, come on, try. David, I don't know.
Yeah. Okay, everybody, let's get the postmortems. NWS. Oldham County reporting. NWS. Farmer County, go ahead. What's the story? What do you think, boy? Maybe we'll start a franchise. Why haven't we heard from them? I'm sure they're fine. We did all right. No real damage. There's uh, anything that I can do. I... You came through just yeah. fine, Richie. Uh, I'm just following your lead. <laughs> I think he went the way he wanted to. Or maybe the only way he could. I'll bet he looked right into the dead soul of that monster and ripped out his devil heart for good. Patty never could have survived that storm without you. The measurement she took that night will allow us to save many lives. That is your legacy. Jake, I don't know if this is the right time to bring it up, I have a departmental fellowship that's yours for the asking. Do think about it, won't you? I'll do that, Doc. That'll be the day when Jake Thorne goes back to school. Once a chaser, always a chaser. Once a terminator, always a terminator. I can't see going back to it. Truth is, right now, I can't see past Tex and Maddie's wedding. You know, I'll need a date. How would you feel about being chased for a change? I could get to like that just fine. <laughs> 